Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back to Let's Play With Clay. So I've been doing a lot of level grinding and a lot of enchanting and so yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to do and some of the enchantments aren't that great that I got but there's that like one book there and I'm like, what do I use that on? I mean seriously, I, I'm tempted to use it on my sword, but yeah, so my bow is done, so pretty soon we can go to the end, but I gotta get enough, um, Ender, Eyes, Eye of Enders first, and plus I wanna build my house. I'd at least like to get that started before the end of season one, so anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna do some mega combination of things, and going to bed, too. It's always a good thing when you go to bed. It's always good to get your sleep. So I'm also going to go to the nether later on in this episode too, but we'll get to that in a little while. So I'm a little apprehensive about going outside because it's been um, nighttime for a while, so... Or had been nighttime for a while. And... Let's see... Yeah, I have Fortune 3, by the way. And I'm just like, <gasps> Fortune 3! So, I guess we should do the early morning cleanup. Before everybody dies. <laughs> you know. And they all died before I could do the early morning cleanup. That's, I should have gotten out here like five seconds earlier, but at least I got arrows, which is nice. I mean, I have an affinity now, so I guess it kind of doesn't matter anymore, but... I could have made it easier on myself and farmed arrows with chickens, but I didn't do that. So I'm thinking of building my house kind of in that spot over there where my nether rack is. Um, but I'm not sure that's probably what's going to happen, but right now I'm just going to go in the nether. I kind of want more levels before I do any more enchanting, too. And you might be able to hear my um, air conditioning in the background, and you might be able to hear my cat talking in the background. I apologize if you can hear that. Um, lag. My render distance is really low right now, so I shouldn't be having this much lag. This is not good. This is really not good. Um... Come on, get it together, please. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut here and wait for the lag to dissipate. And I will come back when the lag is gone, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we're back. So I'm gonna go collect nether quartz right now. And that's gonna be used to kind of do like a modern house theme -y sort of a thing. So that's going to take me a while and I'm going to speed it up because I don't think you guys want to watch me do that for an hour because it's probably going to take me that long. So anyways, um, I will put on some music and I will see you guys after that's done. And we're back. So I'm gonna get this here, and I just had a discussion with my cat also about being quiet while I'm recording. So yeah, I made him sit. And if I say sit to him, he'll actually sit too. So I'm still getting some lag, which I'm not sure why the nether's laggy right now, because it doesn't generally happen, but whatever. 
So time to go home. It'd be really nice if I ate right now <laughs> so that I could, you know, do that sprinting thing. And I'm going to go home. And that will be that. So... Yeah, I, I always have to have t lines of torches everywhere to figure out where I'm going in Minecraft, or where I'm going in the Nether, at least. I mean, Minecraft, too, but especially the Nether. So that I know where I'm going, otherwise I will get hopelessly lost. And, I mean, if you get stuck in the Nether during a regular survival series, it's not that bad. If you get stuck in the Nether during Hardcore, you are kind of screwed. So, yeah. That's not going to be enough nether quartz. It's really not. Hi! Oh no, don't you blow up my portal. Unacceptable. Ooh. I got that gas really good. And that probably went into lava. Oh well. Uh, there's, there's a little bit of nether quartz right over there and I'm tempted really, really tempted. There's this, which is good. I think what I might do too is go over to the other... whatchamacallit... the other fortress, and... I'm not gonna risk it with the other... the other quartz. That's gonna get me killed. But I think I'm going to go over to that, too, and put this out so it doesn't ac accidentally kill me. Which is going to be a little scary, because <laughs> i got to build my way over there. And there is lava dripping. That's creepy. So... I'm going to build myself over and go there because there's more quartz and I need more of it. I'm, I was thinking I should use that, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to use this because I want to get rid of it and that too. This could be the end of me right here and it'll be a very much longer season if that happens. So... Tally ho! <laughs> this could be. Th this was very frightening the first time that I did it, so don't think that it's not frightening now. I mean, if if I fall in this, I'm dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's always fun. I I don't know. I I kind of don't like the newer texture of the lava just because I think it tiles weird from a distance like it looks really grainy to me from a distance whereas I felt like the lava from hey I made it but I feel like the lava from the other um you know from the past looked more like lava but whatever no 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 <laughs> no 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 okay good it didn't hit me oh cool I hit the thing I always love it when I shoot those. I don't know if I've gotten Return to Sender yet. I think I have. I'm pretty sure I have. Why did that still blow up? I blow up. I thought I hit it. That should have hit that ghast. That didn't hit that ghast. That's really bizarre. Oh, that got him. I'm not traveling all the way over there for that. I already got one ghast here. That's really all that I wanted. All that she wants is another guest here. So anyways, I'm going to work my way over there in the safest and easiest way possible. Hey, nether quartz! So, cool. Yeah, I should be much smarter about breaking blocks underneath me when I have this pickaxe, because this pickaxe, man, it's... and it's only efficiency too, but it's pretty powerful with that nether rack. So I will get this. 
and I'll jump out of there and then I'll get this. I don't think we're going to explore the um, fortress too much. I mean, we might do that like a little bit, but I kind of want to save that for another episode too, so we'll see. I might do it on a whim. And it's probably a good idea for me to put down torches. I mean, I in the original series I came back and forth from here a lot, but so I kind of have it memorized, but regardless, I still want to remember where I went, because... You know, it's good to know where you're going. I don't have very good sense of direction in Minecraft. I do in real life. Especially with maps. I'm extremely good at reading maps, which I guess is hard for some people. I don't know why, it just is. But yeah, a lot of people struggle with reading maps, which I never really knew. Until I got much older and I was like, wow. This really shouldn't be that hard. But apparently it is, and a lot of people are like, well, maybe it's because you're an artist. I don't think that's the case. Because a map looks like where everything is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if, a, if you're driving up X Avenue, and X Avenue leads to Y Street, wouldn't you go the direction on X Avenue that actually leads to Y Street? Like, would you find Y Street on the map and then go the appropriate direction? I mean, to me that just makes so much more sense than struggling to read a map. I mean, I could be heavily critical right now, but I don't care. If I cared, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> so anyways, back to Nether Quartz Mining, which is kind of boring. I mean, it's kind of fun for me, because I could do mining all day, but... I hope it's not boring for you guys. If it is, let me know, and I'll, I'll never do this again. So anyways, um... Hi, pigmen. I'm always really nervous about them now. I mean, very seldom have pigmen ever aggroed on me. But... Yeah. The times when it's happened, I've always been killed by mass swarms of them. I'm not good at fighting off a group of pigmen, even when I have, like, the best gear. To me, I, I feel like pigmen are kind of overpowered. So, yeah. So I'll do those, and then I'll do those, and those, and we get that. So now we've got a decent amount where I could least start the house. The, uh... This texture pack does make a lot of things look like nether quartz that aren't actually nether quartz. I don't know, I think it really does look like flesh, and I think it looks like bones that are like, you know, sticking out through flesh, which is kind of disgusting. And I think that was Monster Fish's intention. I mean, come on, his, his name, his Minecraft handle is Monster Fish. Why did this not... <laughs> oh, come on. That was annoying, to say the least. So I'm going to... There's like quartz everywhere and I'm like having a moment where it's like, quartz, it's everywhere. So if you can hear my mother's TV now, I apologize for that as well. Thanks, mom. And so she knows I'm recording to it. I swear she does it on purpose or she thinks I can't hear it. I can hear it, Mom. Really. I can hear it and all of my viewers can hear it too. So, um, this is a nice amount of course. This is great. I think I'm gonna actually cut here because this is taking a while to do. Well, not cut, but I think I'm gonna speed this up again. Because I'm running out of stuff to talk about. I don't have any, like, massively political th things to discuss right now. So, yeah, I'm going to speed this up, and I will see you guys momentarily.
Okay, we're back. So, we're gonna do the very fast sprint across here and hope to god we don't get shot by a ghast, even though I don't hear any right now. I just... no. And I'm gonna get this here because why not? I can't really use that piece for much of anything, but still I wanted it. So, time to go back in and I'll bet you anything it's gonna be nighttime when I come back. See? I told you so, it's nighttime. So, I gotta figure out where everything is. Okay, I need to go this way. And you're gonna die. Let's see, who else can I punt? Every time I see the bunnies, for some reason I think that they're mobs. And I don't know why I think they're hostile mobs, because they don't look like anything that would want to kill me. So anyways, Tam for bed. Because of reasons. So the next thing that I want to do is get this. And wow. There's like so much of everything. So let me put that in there, that in there, that, 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 that. I'm going to keep that on me and I'm going to do that. So the next thing that I want to do actually for some fun because the quartz mining was kind of... I don't know if uneventful is the right word. I want to do some lucky black stuff. Yay! Let me find the um, items. Okay, so there's that one. That, that, and that. I don't know why I insist on using these, but I think I'm only going to do one this time. Not several of them. Ooh, a spider, yay. Suffer. Everything must suffer. And what's the next thing that I want to do? I want to come, like, way out here. Because I really don't want another surprise. And you guys probably know what I mean from the last episode. So, what hit me? The hell? There's an arrow flying at me. What is this? Do you guys see something that I don't see? Um, I'm gonna kill those creepers. I'm gonna kill those creepers. Pretty sure those are creepers. I need to get closer to the creepers. I don't want to, but I do. So, yeah. I got shot by the invisible skeleton. I didn't know that was a mod. I'm gonna come back over here again and see what's going on here. Because this is, um... Interesting. See, what is this? There is nothing over here! Do you see anything? Because I don't see anything! What the heck? This is so bizarre! Seriously, I mean... There's all kinds of unique things that have happened to me because of this Lucky Blocks thing, but this is, like, a new one. And for some reason, I wasn't in easy mode either, which is, like, you know, a whole new thing within itself, because that thing likes to kick me into easy mode, too. Or into peaceful mode, which I still can't quite figure out. Anyways, um... Throw that on there. And I need to eat. And I need to throw some gold on there. And now I have a thingy. And I also want to get all the stuff back. All of it. And I'll put that there. And I'll put that there. Hey, it's another diamond helmet. That's not really useful right now. But thank you. So that was a really freaky thing. I mean, it kind of looked like it was coming out of the tree, but there was definitely no skeleton on top of the tree, so... Whatever that was. I've never been attacked by an invisible skeleton before. So... Yeah, that was unique. I think it's a first, but anyways, I think I'm gonna call the episode here, guys. So... well, not like right here, but in a minute. Let me get back on my hill. 
Um, the Sea of Cows. So yeah, I'm definitely going to call the episode here. So, oh gosh, I have an arrow stuck in me. My poor hand. But I will see you guys in the next episode. And I want to thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and likes if you want to see more. Oh, and next episode we're building the house over there, by the way. So I will see you guys next time. Your support of this series is greatly appreciated. To help keep this Let's Play alive, go ahead and click anywhere on the screen to watch the next episode.